I have known I wanted to be a teacher since the second grade. I never considered doing anything else. My second grade teacher was Mrs. Tubes. I was born premature. The treatment was to give babies oxygen, but that often caused blindness. When I was very young, my parents thought I was blind, but by second grade, they realized I was just visually handicapped. They were very overprotective. Mrs. Tubes changed my parents' image of me, and more importantly, she changed my image of myself. She told my parents and, and I that, that I was going to succeed, that I was going to go to college, and that I was smart. She told my folks not to treat me any differently than my sisters. Throughout my childhood, those words came back to haunt me. But when my parents were concerned about me, they would quote Mrs. Toops. I wanted to be a teacher like Mrs. Toops, who could change someone's self-image. During summers in high school, I did volunteer teaching. I was a volunteer aide for Head Start and worked at a school for learning disabled students. I loved working in classroom teaching kids to read. I worked for a teacher named Ms. Duquesne. She used many different techniques to help her students kids with many learning and behavior challenges. To my astonishment, many significantly improved their reading skills. I wanted to be a teacher like Ms. Duquesne and help students learn to read. I hope I have taken the best from Mrs. Tubes and Mrs. Duquesne and all the teachers that have inspired me. Each day I try to help my students feel good about themselves and to succeed. I am proud to represent all my wonderful colleagues in Sac City Unified and to be among the teachers honored here tonight. Thanks go to Carla, my students, my parents, my family, my friends, and an extraordinary group of teachers in Sac City and administrators in Sac City for coming tonight, and particularly for my mama who believed in me. Thank you.